the Ghana Science and Tech Explorer Challenge Prize is aiming at nurturing about 20,000 junior high school pupils through practical learning and the development of science, technology, engineering and mathematics education. At a virtual meeting of stakeholders in STEM, Education Minister called for public-private sector collaboration in improving the delivery of STEM education right from the basic schools. There's more in this report. Some enthusiastic pupils pitching a security alarm system at a hack event organized by the Ghana Science and Technology Explorer Prize GSTEP. The initiative is part of a three-year program aimed at challenging students to develop innovative ideas in dealing with societal problems. At a virtual meeting of stakeholders in STEM ahead of the G-STEP Pilot Challenge Prize, Education Minister Dr. Yawase Iduchim said STEM education is the bedrock of Ghana's transformation agenda. STEM has been prioritized, but we also understand the expertise in STEM is vested in the private sector. Uh, education as a public sector enterprise is just trying to catch up. We have the expertise at Nesta, at Dreamover, at MEST. These are the entities that have the expertise in this country. Their partnership with the Ministry of Education will unleash that talent for the benefit of our students. Delivering a speech on behalf of the Director General of the Ghana Education Service, Madam Olivia Parry, listed some initiatives undertaken by the service to improve the STEM delivery. Training of science and mathematics teachers under the SIP project, and that's a secondary education improvement project. Training of science teachers on the effective use of science equipment, and it is ongoing. We are training about 670 senior high school teachers on the effective use of the science equipment and then chemical supply. Starting June 2022, the G-STEP Pilot Project Prize is expected to be launched. The competition is targeted at tasking GHS students in Greater Accra and Ashanti regions to come up with creative projects. Senior Vice President at Dream Oval Foundation, Francis Ahene Afu, gives more details. In August, we are going to do we're going to do the assessment and selection of the of the fair, of the projects that have been submitted. So we are going to narrow down all um, submissions to 100 finalist groups, and then the final support comes in between September and October, where we mentor and coach. Um, coach and support them. We're going to have the final assessment in November, and that will be the pitching and selection. This is where the children, the groups created, will bring um, the project that their mentors and coaches have helped them to, to shape, to submit it to a panel. And then in December 2022, we're going to have the exhibition and award ceremony. The three-year G-STEP program, which is run by a consortium of five organizations, will engage and equip 20,000 young Ghanaians with the skills, support 500 teachers to grow their confidence in engaging the minds of young people in STEM. Oh, they are stolen! Fire! 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 We'll take a break on joining us. Let's go bring you more in business.